Hello, my dear readers. For the story time today, we have a wonderful book, The Tooth Mouse, written by Susan Hood and illustrated by Janice Medell. This finally rendered fable introduces readers to the Tooth Mouse, Francis' version of the Tooth Fairy. Have you ever lost a baby tooth? Placed it under your pillow and found a coin left by the tooth fairy. In many countries around the world, there is no such thing as the tooth fairy. Instead, there is. Once long ago, at top of ancient cathedral in France, there lived a small mouse who would not go to bed. Shush, Sherry, said the roosting dove. It's time to sleep. But I'm not sleepy, said Sophie. I want to play tooth mouse. Cranky old cats can't catch me. Watch this. And Sophie executed a perfect pas de chant. Then Sophie stopped. She heard a noise. It started with a scribble scrabble, then a scruffle, then a scramble, with a jump and a jeton. Sophie was away. She followed the sound down, down, around and around, until she found herself in the great hall of the cathedral, where a crowd of mice had assembled. A hush fell over the room. Sophie stood on her tiptoes to see a stern but elegant old mouse appear from the shadows in a shower of moonlight. Sophie gasped. It's the tooth mouse, le petit chéri. Bonsoir, cried the tooth mouse. My friends, as you know, I've served faithfully as the tooth mouse for many years, dodging cats, collecting coins, and delivering the money to children in exchange for their baby teeth. But I'm not as spry as I used to be. I've decided it's time to name my successor. Ah, oh, said the crowd. Silence, said the tooth mouse. She paused to eye the mice over her spectacles. All those who wish to be cho chosen will be given three tasks. You must prove that you are brave, honest, and above all, wise. C'est moi, thought Sophie. Choose me, choose me. For your first task, said the tooth mouse, bring me the whisker of a cat. Many mice attempted the first task. Did they all succeed? No. Moths were happy to escape with their lives. Only five returned with the required whisker. Très bien, said the tooth mouse, eyeing Sophie, the smallest contender, with interest. Her whisker doesn't count. Comply, one mouse. She's too little to be the tooth mouse. We shall see. We shall see," said the tooth mouse. "Now you five may be brave, but are you honest? For your second task, bring me a silver coin. Beware, theory will not be permitted. I will be watching." The five mice set about the second task. Did they all succeed? <laughs> no. Only three obtained a silver coin by honest means. They presented the coins to the tooth mouse. Felicitations, she said with a hint of smile. You three are brave and honest. Now for you, for your third 
and most difficult task. Follow me. The two of mouse led Sophie and the others down dark corridors of deep recesses of the cathedral. She withdrew a key from her cloak and unlocked a tiny door that opened into a massive room. She led the way into the chamber and guessed her to the charts that lined the walls. Voila! Here are the names and addresses of the thousands of children who are expected to lose a tooth in the next three days. She explained, What will I do with all those baby teeth? You have until sunrise tomorrow to present me with a plan. Thousand of baby teeth! But no, it's impossible, thought Sophie, her tail dragging as she struggled home. Back atop the cathedral, Sophie slumped against a kindly mother dove. She whispered, I tried so hard, now I'll never be the tooth mouse. Go to sleep, chérie, cooed the dove. Sometimes the wisest answer is the simplest one. I'm sure something will come to you. That night Sophie did go to bed, but she dreamed of teeth, shiny teeth, tiny teeth, munching teeth, crunching teeth, chewing, chattering, gnawing, gurgling teeth. What would she do with thousands of baby teeth? When the little mouse awoke, she sat up and smiled. Ah. Maui, of course! At sunrise, the three mice arrived in the great hall to present their plans to the tooth mouse, and the crowd assembled there. We could build a castle, said the first mouse, unwilling his idea with a flourish. Ah, oh, said the crowd, Mano said the tooth mouse, with all the baby teeth, this castle would cover the kingdom. The second mouse stepped forward with her proposal. We could roll them into the sea, she said. Ah, oh, said the crowd. Menno, sniffed the tooth mouse, with all the baby teeth, we would fill up the sea. At last, it was Sophie's turn. Her tail twitched as she unrolled her plan and gave it to the tooth mouse. The tooth mouse said nothing as she studied Sophie's proposal. Then the aged face broke into a wide smile. Ah, she said, Maui, so simple, so wise. She turned to face the crowd. We have found a winner. I present to you the new tooth mouse. Sophie, the smallest mouse who would not go to bed, spent the rest of her nights as the tooth mouse. La petite souris, showing bravery, honesty, and wisdom, she dodged cats collected coins and delivered the money to children in exchange for their baby teeth. And what did she do with all of those baby teeth? She gave them to babies, <laughs> of course. The end. I hope, friends, you like the story, but I have a little surprise for you. I would like to tell you some interesting stories about tooth fairies. When a child loses their teeth, a golden bubble with that child's name appears in the tooth fairy's castle. She takes 
all the bubbles with her when she collects the teeth and puts the tooth in the child's bubble so it can flow back to her castle and she can fly on to the next lost tooth. When the tooth fairy starts her nighty visits, she carries all the bubbles on strings like big bouquet of balloons. By the time the night is over, the last bubble containing the last tooth helps her float home. Also, friends, did you know that tooth fairy is very small and very, very quiet? She can flow through closed windows and walls with her magic powers. If a child begins to stir or wake up while well, she is replacing their tooth with money, she puts them back to sleep with the sprinkling of her fairy dust. I hope, friends, you enjoy our story time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and see you next time. Bye!